Hi, my name is Tony, and I'm pleased to be your host for the very first official episode of Gaming Zone Live, brought to you by Hapog Computer Works. As you know, Hapog has been the industry leader in HD capture devices for many years, and they will be for many years to come. Hapog has recently brought us great devices like the Colossus HD capture card and the HD PVR. Both devices allow you to capture your video footage from your gaming consoles in high definition. You can then edit that footage and create reviews, playthroughs, and much more. We here at Apog are excited about the gaming community, so we've created the Gaming Zone. It's a place where you can submit your videos for review. We can upload those videos to the Apog Gaming Zone, and they could be there for the world to see how great our users are and how great Hapog products are. We want to invite you to be a part of the gaming zone. Periodically I'll be posting these episodes to show you and highlight some of the great user generated Hapog HD video game footage. In addition I'll be uploading daily videos showing you videos that have been made from around the community using Hapog products and video game consoles. We want to invite you to be a part of the Hapog Gaming Zone. Please write to us at gamingzone at hapog.com to submit your videos and I will be responding. Please also follow us on twitter.com backslash Hapog Gaming and please like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Hapog Gaming Zone. We are excited to be creating this gaming zone for you. This week, our user-generated video of the week is brought to us by the team over at Classic Leet, and we want to show you as they review the Hapog Colossus. Hey, what's going on guys? Josh here for Classic Leet. You might know me better as the Gooch. I'm doing my first ever hardware review and for this one I'm going to be talking about the Colossus HD capture card courtesy of Hapog. Now to call this card anything short of just being dead sexy would be criminal. This card is fantastic and I can't wait to talk about it. Now here's the box, pretty basic, it says high definition right on the front. Video to your PC and there's the names, you know that's quality right there. Now, that's a nice box and all, but I want to talk about another box. That box. <laughs> the brown box. It, it, this thing is chocked full of great goodies. It's kind of weighty. Got a little weight to it. But uh, let's go ahead and dig right in here. Right on top there is the actual card itself in the anti-static paper, which is pretty much standard for any PC components that you buy nowadays. Uh, right there is the warning label on the front. Uh, let's see right there. So don't go throwing it in a dryer full of dirty socks. Uh, here are all the great stuff, starting with the uh, IR receiver. This will plug directly into the card itself. Great for recording television. There is the first set of component cables, and that's the end right there that actually plugs into the card itself. See it? Get a little closer there. Very, very nice. There's the other set of cables. Those actually plug into and out of the card itself. It sort of feeds through the device. In which you would use these to get the picture to your television. Uh, right there, that is a very, very nice set of component cables. Look at that. About eight feet long. And, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Color-coded. White, black. It's super easy to hook up. And, oh, there's the remote that uses that IR receiver. Oh man, very nice. Solid remote. Look at that. All those buttons and stuff. Great shape. Oh, wait. There's batteries, man. That's a class act. Always include batteries. Thank you. Oh, and there is the uh, quick start guide. Right there. It says it. Very nice. Oh, and the software. All of that's very nice. But let's talk about the card itself. I uh, can't wait to tear this thing open. And yeah, literally, just tear that, tear that warning right off. Here we go. Oh, there. Tear it right out. Now, yeah, here we go. See, don't be, yeah, don't be too, um, too particular with this. You can touch the board. People always think you can't. Just don't go rubbing your nose on it, and you'll be fine. And look at the card here. Oh, very basic, to the point. I like it. 
Yep, and oh, get that box out of the way. So there's all the ports on it, the HDMI, the component, the audio, and there's the uh, IR receiver on the bottom. Very nice. And oh, I don't know what that is, but I don't need it. What I need is that bottom part right there. So you're going to hook this in your computer. You're just going to push it right down in there. There you go. Uh, very cool. Very cool. So let me put that to the side here. Now, what I have to do is I'm going to turn the camera over here, and I'm going to look at my computer for a while. I'm going to have to actually crack it open and take some still shots. <laughs> I can't actually record video with the computer and install the card at the same time. So here you go, the first still shot of the computer. That red long thing is my video card, and the capture card will go right below it. Now you can't see it here, but in this next shot, yep, right there, those two little black slits, that's where the capture card's going to plug right into. And here's me uh, actually pushing the card into the motherboard. Super easy, fits like a glove, and it, it, it's perfect. It looks like it belongs there. See it right there? All those ports lined up perfectly. It's, it's beautiful. So here is the software itself. Now it's pretty familiar. Instantly when you look at it you start thinking Windows Movie Maker, uh, the classic Movie Maker, and that's exactly what you get here. Uh, pretty basic but also very robust and, and, and very easy to use, very friendly software. Uh, and then we go on in here. Here's me actually using the software, pointing out the fact that there is a slight delay when the image actually hits your computer not a big deal because the thing actually feeds back out into your television when you're playing games and when you're on your television there is no delay I mean how else would I be able to play Pac-Man Championship Edition DX a game like this that requires such mad skills and precise timing uh, any notion of a delay would cripple the gameplay experience and I gotta say I sat on my couch I drank a soda and I played this game like I would any other while I recorded now the recording software like I showed you before is that same editing software. Uh, you plug in your Xbox, in this case, I plug my Xbox into the capture card and then another set of cables comes out of the capture card and plugs into my television. That sounds complicated but it's not. It is no more complicated than actually hooking up a DVD player that you would buy at any major retail store. It took all of five minutes to hook up and all you have to do is start your Xbox, start the software and hit record and you're done. The minute you're done playing, you push the stop button and your video is there, the software is up and you can start making any number of projects right there without actually having to launch anything else or open another window. It is just great and intuitive software. And as you can see, it, it works really, really well. I mean, look at Sonic 4 here. The game looks gorgeous. The colors, they're so sharp, they're so vibrant. Uh, the Colossus captures everything in beautiful 720p and it doesn't miss a frame. Now, I could record this in 1080i, which is a really nice resolution as well, but for gameplay footage personally, I think 720p is just a better you know, resolution to record at. And lastly, here's some Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, why? Because I'm just a big fan of the old 2D sprites and the fighting game. So to wrap up this review, I only have one word to say, and that is love. I love this capture device. This is the Hapog Colossus HD capture card. I have never owned a piece of Hapog software or hardware ever, and after this one device, I am sold. I am a fan for life and loyal to the Hapog brand because now I know that name is synonymous with quality. And all future reviews that I do for Classic Elite will be done using this Hapag Colossus HD capture card. And I cannot wait to put out some great content for you guys with this device. So again, I want to thank Hapag for allowing us to use this capture card in future reviews for Classic Elite. And recommend anyone who has any interest in recording great gameplay footage to go pick one up today. Thank you so much, team from Classic Leap Podcast. Make sure you check out their channel as well. Remember, the Hapog Colossus is a great device if you have a powerful desktop to record HD video footage directly from your favorite gaming consoles. This has been the very, very first and official episode of the Hapog Gaming Zone. We hope that you'll continue to check out our channel, 
for all the latest user videos that have been captured with Hapog High Definition products. We're so excited you joined us for this. Please become a member of the community and we can't wait to hear from you. Have a great day.